Hey everybody, Z Garcia here. You know, today I wanted to take a look at some expansions that are going to be coming out at Gen Con 50, Gen Con this year. There are a lot of new games coming out at Gen Con, but there's something about expansions to games that you already know you love that to me is very exciting. It's, it's going into something with a lot more chances that it's going to be something I'll enjoy because I already know I enjoy the base game. And so what I decided to do was go through the list of what, what will be available and put together my top five expansions that I'm looking forward to at Gen Con 50. I'm going to kick things off with my number five, and this is an expansion for Nations the dice game. It's called Unrest. And this is going to give us new nations, new dice, you get bonus tiles, you get a plethora of things. And, and it's going to give you a lot more choices and a lot more replayability to the base game. I thought Nations the dice game was a very solid uh, reinterpretation of the original game, which is not something that appeals to me, but I thought Nations the dice game distilled it into something that was palatable uh, for my for my own tastes, and I'm excited for the expansion to give me more going on. You know, it, it looks like it's going to add quite a bit. It's quite possibly one of the bigger expansions I'll be talking about here today. So I'm excited about that. My number five, Nations, the dice game, Unrest. My number four is an expansion I've already played, actually, but I'm excited for it to come out. The other ones have not played anything else. My number four is one of the two expansions coming out for Champions of Midgard. One of them is called the Dark Mountains. That's fine. The other one's called Valhalla, and this one's spectacular because it adds a whole new system to the base game in which before, if your dice, your combatants, died in combat, they were simply gone. And you might have spent several turns gathering those combatants. And now, with some bad die rolling, they were simply dead. But now, when you're playing with Valhalla, for every one of those combatants that goes away, well, you get their, you know, quote-unquote glory, and you are going to get a token that will then allow you to do other things. So it's not a complete loss. And it really works very well. Just adding that system in makes the pain of going into combat and losing sting a whole lot less. I think it's a fantastic expansion. If you enjoy Champions of Midgard, if you want to get both expansions, certainly feel free to do so. They are both good, but if for some reason you're only getting one, Valhalla is the one to get. number three is an expansion for Quadropolis, a tile uh, sort of placement game, if you would, in which you were, you were taking tiles, placing them in your own little city, and then scoring based on where they ended up. Well, now they're coming out with an expansion called Public Services, and Public Services gives you a bunch of new tiles, but they don't go on the grid that you were selecting tiles from. Instead, they're set aside, and you'll take them from there and they'll give you new things to do, new powers, new opportunities, new ways to improve a plan you've been working on. And I'm excited about that because new tiles to mix into the table and put out there in the pattern is fine. But these sound like they'll allow you to customize what you're going for with a little more certainty, a little more uh, definitive uh, direction, you know? And so I'm excited to see what that does. It looks fantastic, of course, as Quadropolis just did before. So very exciting, Quadropolis Public Services. My number two 
is a new expansion for one of my favorite games out there, and this is an expansion for Five Tribes, Whims of the Sultan. Now, Five Tribes has already had, let's call it an expansion and a half. They had one expansion, but later came up with a very small little addition that just added, oh, five or six cards. But this one is another large expansion, adds the ability to play with one more player. Uh, not sure. But it does give you a ma mainly a new mechanism that I'm really excited about, and that is the ability to grab a card that gives you a goal, something you have to accomplish in the game, and when you do so, you cash in that card, you get a bunch of gold, a bunch of money in the game. And they look great, and I love the idea of mini goals throughout the game. It sort of gives you a, a nudge in this direction or that direction, and especially for players who can see all this stuff and feel a little directionless, I think this is gonna be great. I'm looking forward to it myself very much. Artwork, of course, looks fantastic. The whole package really looks like it's gonna sing and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. That's Five Tribes, Whims of the Sultan. And then lastly, my number one game, of course also for one of my favorite games, is Jamaica The Crew. Now Jamaica is a racing game with some of the best artwork I've ever seen in any board game, in my opinion, of course. Jamaica The Crew is going to add, well, not you know, unsurprisingly, crew. But the neat thing is they'll give you powers, but they'll take a spot in your cargo holds. You only start with a few of these, and you'll normally fill them up with gunpowder, with doubloons, with food. Well, if you take a character now, you take one of your crew members, you're going to place them in one of those spots, and that spot is now filled. You can't put doubloons in there. But it sounds like you get so many more interesting choices now, and it'll really give you cool new powers to play with during the game. It'll make the race exciting. It'll, it'll allow you to try different things, sort of customize the kind of pirate you are racing around Jamaica. So I cannot wait. Of course, more fantastic artwork. I'm sure the production quality is going to be spectacular if the original game is any indication. And I'm just really, really excited to have Jamaica get a little shot in the arm, to, to have it hit the table again, because as I said, it's one of my favorite games. So that's it for me. Those are some exciting new expansions coming to Gen Con. Tell me some new expansions you're excited about and, you know, just what it is about expansions that really gets you um, frothing at the mouth for new content. Like I said, I love it because I know it's a game I already love. So what are you looking forward to? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.